thought the Olympic medal was going to be his ticket to an immediately lucrative pro career. It did not happen that way. He also had his best friend killed uh, in the fall. Uh, so, and he went through a divorce. Uh, married to a, a Hollywood starlet. That didn't work out. He says he's now had to learn to focus on his boxing solely, and he thinks that'll make him a better fighter. Good-looking young man, Lehman Brewster. There is Lehman Brewster, 7-0. All wins coming by way of knockout. Certainly on a very fast track right now to heavyweight success. And I, I mean, I remember thinking, I, you know, I hadn't seen that many of his amateur fights, but the word on the street was, this is your Olympic representative. Well, and, and on his record, they claim he broke Mike Tyson's all-time knockout percentage mark for an amateur heavyweight. In 80 fights, he had 60 knockouts. He was 70 and 10 as an amateur. Long amateur career. Began with the Junior Olympics in 1987. Born in Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. Well, Mark Johnson's in the ring. Coming in with a two and three record, one knockout. He's out of Wilson, North Carolina. Been stopped though in his last three fights. Not the sort of track record you want to bring in with the likes of Lehman Brewster. And we're gonna go up to our ring announcer, Dennis Miller, with the official introductions. Wait, there appears to be some sort of problem. Seems to be something holding up this fight at ringside right now. John, did Larry you get what Hazard's that was? conferring uh, with uh, one of the corner people. Gene you know, Grant. We see at ringside, Chris Thorne. Want to say hello to Chris Thorne, president of the Boxing Writers Association. Writes for the Newark Star Ledger, and one of the finest people in our in our business. All right, it appears Dennis Miller now ready for the official introductions. All right, then. Boxing fans, here we go. This next contest of the evening is scheduled for six rounds, also again in the heavyweight division. Your referee, once again, Brian O'Melia. Introducing first, in the blue corner, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. He comes in undefeated at 7-0 with seven knockouts. He weighed up fighting 222 pounds, wearing the black and white trunks. A big garden state welcome to Lamont Brewster. His worthy adversary in the red corner, fighting out of Wilson, North Carolina. He comes in this evening at a two and three record with one knockout. He weighed in this evening at 216 pounds. Let's greet Mark Johnson. Mark Johnson, six rounds. Is up and good luck to both of you. Touch up. All right. All right, Lehman. What is going through Mark Johnson's mind right now? Lehman Bruce has had seven straight knockouts, and Johnson has been stopped three times. Mark Johnson does not lack confidence. He calls himself the best dressed heavyweight in the division. Well, that's something. <laughs> I don't know why we would care about that, but uh, he seemed to think it was a feather in his cap. Actually, a very nice young man. See if he can fight. His last fight on the explosion, David Brewster knocked out Tim Knight with a jab. That was back February 6th. Brewster wanting to try to make quick work out of Mark Johnson. Or he looks like a welt or, or uh, some kind of a cut on the forehead. Johnson is a redness. Johnson's eating some big leather and some blood just came spurting out of his nose, too. Taking big shots already on the inside. Brewster, Brewster a very seasoned fighter in terms of all of his amateur experience. A lot of poise. Yes. Exactly. See, going to the body and then three left hooks. Brewster trying to break him down physically and then look for the knockout. Johnson already looks like he's been four or five rounds, and we're only about a minute and a half gone by here. First of the scheduled six-rounder. Don't blink. 
referee's two jabs. Good left to the body. Oh, he's killing them with that left hand to the body arm. And you see Johnson holding on. Boy, he's trying to weather this storm, and he really looks out of sorts here in the first round. Oh, oh right, right, right. Right. And you can see Johnson was having trouble breathing. His nose bleeding from about 30 seconds into the fight. Between that and the body shots, on his hands down over the top of a big right hand. Hope he knows how to land that Brewster. Bill Slayton, and uh, they're going to start to step it up now. Well, they're going to need to. I mean, the fights like this is not going to do a whole lot for Layman Brewster, who in 1996 as an amateur was voted most likely to succeed as a professional. He's off to a great start, 8-0. And now we're going to take a look here, a replay from round number one. Watch the big right over the top for Brewster. Times it, bang. Ooh, right on the top of the head, too, and Johnson. See Johnson trying to hold on, but grabbing nothing but air. I give Johnson credit for getting up. It was like right on the top of that head, and there's bad company, <laughs> Lehman Brewster. There's Dick Wood working his corner today along with Bill Slayton. Wood out of Colorado Springs. You know, Lehman Brewster was inspired by Marvin Hagler. That's the one fighter he said that he looked up to as an amateur. All right, we're going to go up for the official time on a knockout. So ring announcer, Dennis Miller. Time of contest, two minutes, three seconds of round number one. The winner by technical knockout, Brewster. Lamont Brewster, raising his record to 8 0 with 8 KO. All right, we take a look again at that knockdown. Here comes knockdown number two. What are the other things you got to love about Brewster? As we take a look at it from another angle, great poise in going to the body. He didn't rush. He, he was very composed. He knew just what to do, break him down to the body, and then hit, hit him with the head shots to put him away. Welts all over the forehead of Mark Johnson. Good stoppage by the referee. And a great start for Layman Brewster in his career. Right. Well, not only that, but let me ask you a question now. You've got a fighter. He 